The pressure to compete and achieve greatness has been there since the beginning of organized sports. However, there has been a growing trend in the use of steroids and other performance enhancing drugs in different sporting fields. Now, it's no longer enough to be just a skilled athlete. Athletes are expected to break records, win championships, and create a lasting legacy. The line between natural human ability and artificial enhancers is getting more blurred. And there have been many controversies surrounding the use of these enhancers. I believe that supplements and drugs like steroid pills and performance boosters are a big help in keeping up with the competition. They help in building strength, endurance, and recovering quickly after an injury. When I was starting out my sport, I was told by other athletes in order to be successful at this level, I had to use some sort of performance enhancing drug, steroids, HGH or whatever that was. These two athletes are representatives of many people looking for an edge, and it's not limited to professional sports. College division teams, high school teams, and even Olympic hopefuls have turned to steroids, HGH, and other performance enhancers to compete at the highest level. The use of steroids ranges from legitimate medical use to recreational use by athletes looking for an advantage. However, this doesn't change the fact that the use of these substances in sports is illegal and frowned upon. Steroids in sports reportedly help athletes increase their muscle mass, strength, and recovery rate by manipulating their hormone levels. Steroids and related substances usually involve synthetic hormones that are similar in nature to testosterone, and they function by binding to androgen receptors of the muscles, bones, and other tissues. However, these substances also have a long-lasting adverse effects including liver damage, infertility, depression, heart damage, etc. Female athletes are also at risk of developing masculine features, deepening of the voice, increasing body hair, and shrinking of the breasts. Athletes, particularly those who are use steroids and other substances, try to justify it by claiming that it's no different from taking any legal supplements or medications that chemically improve their performance. However, this cannot be further from the truth. Who are you and what do you do? Um, at Capitano, I'm principal of West Boca Raton Community High School. What are your thoughts on steroids and sports? Steroids and sports, okay, well, uh, you're talking about performance enhancement drugs. So the way that I look at it is that um, they should not be included in any type of sports. It should be your natural, you know, God-given born talents. And um, I think performance enhancement is exactly what it says. You're enhancing your performance based on, you know, what you're taking, so you're altering your, your genetic profile, you're, you're enhancing your genetic profile. So if there is going to be a case for having them, then it should be already disclosed. People should know that they're on them and maybe a separate kind of category for people that are doing them if they're you know bent on doing them. So I think that's, that's my opinion. The effects of steroids and other performance enhancing substances go far beyond winning games or competitions. As mentioned earlier, steroids have many dangerous and life-threatening side effects on their users. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel Magaletti. I'm a sports medicine expert, and I'm here to talk about the long lasting effects of steroids in athletes, and they have long lasting side effects like cirrhosis of the liver, high blood pressure. You also have hair loss in both men and women, and it is not good for athletes at all, so. So overall, do you think steroids are beneficial or non-beneficial to an athlete? Non-beneficial, truly. It's a, too many side effects. Moreover, many studies also point to a high risk of addiction from using steroids for an extended period of time. Anabolic steroids can make people feel euphoric and powerful, which makes many athletes addicted to the substances. The harmful effects of steroids, of steroid use, are even more dire when we consider young athletes who are still growing and developing. Using steroids during this period of adolescence can lead to a stunned growth and development, permanent masculine features, and even suicidal tendencies and mental health issues. Not only that, using steroids and other performance enhancing substances ruins the level playing field for sports and undermines the trust between coaches, teams, and athletes. Integrity is vital in sports, and without it, sports simply do not function. 
In a world that values winning at all costs, it is more important to be honest, play by the rules, and be a good sportsman. Hello, please say your name. Hello, my name is Joey Freshwater. And what is your sport? I am a professional wrestler. Okay, and what is your take on steroids in sports being a wrestler? Um, I think I am a pro performance enhancing drugs for a few reasons. Reason number one would be quick recovery time. Um, reason number two would be the advantage it gives me physically. And reason number three, it would make me very strong. Thank you so much. The impact of steroid use isn't limited to just the athletes and people close to them. It goes far deeper. When athletes use steroids, the negative effects can spill over into society as well. Hello, sir. Can you introduce yourself to the camera? Sure. My name is Bob Brenner, a sociologist. All right. And what's your opinion on steroids? My opinion on steroids? Good issue. Good topic. Athletes are role models for young people, particularly children and teenagers. Many young people look up to their sporting heroes and try to emulate them. When they see their sports heroes using steroids and other substances, they may believe it's acceptable and normal behavior. Steroids can have a significant impact on an athlete's behavior and mental state. We've seen incidents where athletes have become aggressive, agitated, and even violent due to their steroid consumption. These incidents incidents can directly impact the fans and audience of these sporting events. Hi, thank you so much. Okay. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Coach. <laughs> What's your name? Coach. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on steroids and sports? I know everyone wants to be ripped and strong, but it gives unfair advantage and it really just shows that you are weak. The use of steroids in sports is a complex, polarizing issue. However, one thing is clear. It's not a one-dimensional problem that can be solved with simple solutions like drug testing. Rather, its effects leak into different domains and can irreversibly harm the health and safety of the athletes as well as the sports fans. It's crucial to acknowledge the issue and work on solutions that promote clean, healthy competition while also protecting the integrity and reputation of the sports world. This requires a concerted effort from sports organizations, coaches, athletes, and fans to work together to create a better and healthier sporting ecosystem. As the narrative fades to a close, we see a montage of athletes being tested for steroids. The montage morphs into a view of athletes of different sports engaging in healthy, natural training. The final message spoken by the narrator is about the significance of choosing a healthy and safe way of winning in sports. With that final message, this is the end.